Our job is to, is to reconstruct the mummy, visualize it, and use it for medical education on all levels, from grade school through medical school. Patient education, we'll, we'll use it. It's a mummy, uh, so it makes the interest factor high. So. Hang on a second. Before we do anything, how far off are we? So, you see how far off the phone is off yeah. the table? Yeah. So, I think that's a problem. Yeah, who could be? Just, just, uh, just two inches. The mummies from this area uh, are not royal, but they're um, upper classes and um, upper middle class. And um, our mummy happens to be, in addition to other things, a priest of the god Min. Um, this particular scanner is a high contrast scanner, so it's, it, it doesn't do soft tissue very well. So you can see the bones much more clearly than you can on a hospital scanner. The resolution on this scanner is 200 microns and a, uh, 190 microns. A, a hospital scanner is 750 microns, so the quality of the scan is far superior. <laughs> With the offset, is it going to get lower? We're going to learn about specifically about him, but other mummies from this site about how they lived. Um, how old they were, did they have all their teeth, um, what kind of um, medical procedures might they have. I mean, some mummies actually have uh, metal uh, bands that held bones together, so we know that they set bones. The power of this Well, we'll look at everything. So we'll look at all the, every bone in the body. We'll look to see if there's any fractures or anything displaced. Uh, we'll look at um, um, normal anatomy. Uh, we're particularly interested in the, in the head and neck. So you think of ancient Egypt, uh, mummies come to mind, uh, the pyramids and mummies. And part of that is knowing you're looking into the face of someone who lived three or four thousand years ago. And, uh, you know, what could be more exciting than that? To be able to bring an ancient culture to life through representatives that actually lived there at that time. Mm -hmm. 